Mingalaba Kamiya, I'm Angus Watson with the top stories for DVB. President-elect Tin Jaw confirmed the size and the shape of Burma's cabinet government on Monday in an address to Parliament. The National League for Democracy's choice for Burma's president said slashing the number of ministries will save $5 million per year. The NLD's government will be made up of 18 ministers. 21 ministries will exist in total, three controlled by the military. A downsizing from the previous government's 36 government offices was confirmed on Monday. Aung San Suu Kyi says she has given the job of president to Tin Jaw and that he will act as her proxy. Tin Jaw has guaranteed that the reduced number of ministries will not result in a drastic loss of jobs in Burma's capital, Naypyidaw. <laughs> Burma's outgoing Minister for Information has defended criticism of the country's recently passed broadcast law. Critics say that by allowing for a continuation of Burma's long-established government-run news services, new private players are already being drowned out of the market. The law provides a legislative framework for the granting of broadcast licenses to private operators who say they will struggle to compete against government-controlled TV stations and newspapers. The Centre for Law and Democracy on the weekend recommended the reshaping of government broadcasters into independent public stations. But Minister Yetut last night defended the role of the government mouthpieces. <laughs> Week-long celebrations for Burma's annual water festival next month will soak up half of all Rangoon's on-duty police. All 7,000 of the division's police have been committed to a city-wide security detail. Split into two groups, three and a half thousand cops will be on duty at any one time. Police say they'll crack down on drunken, unruly behaviour and will investigate illegal liquor sales. Random searches will be conducted by police as thousands descend on Burma's biggest city for the Buddhist New Year event. Six years ago, a string of bomb attacks rocked Thinjan celebrations, killing 10 and injuring close to 200 in Rangoon. You can find more on all of today's top stories at dvb.no. Bye for now.